POCT05 Performance Metrics for Continuous Interstitial Glucose Monitoring, Second Edition. The new edition two of the POCT05 guideline covers how continuous interstitial glucose monitoring systems, abbreviated as CGM, should be assessed for accuracy how CGM systems should be assessed for factors that can decrease accuracy, and how CGMs should be operated for optimal performance. POCT05 provides consensus guidelines for healthcare professionals, in vitro diagnostic and medical device manufacturers, and regulatory agencies regarding the use of CGM systems and data obtained from CGM systems. The new POCT05 guideline defines and explores multiple aspects of CGM performance, including use cases, point and trend accuracy, evaluation of threshold alerts, system stability and reliability, clinical studies for assessing CGM performance, calibration, measurement traceability, and special considerations such as shelf life, cybersecurity, and product labeling. CGM devices offer patients the potential to monitor glucose without the repeated skin punctures that are needed for self-monitoring blood glucose measurements using traditional handheld glucose meters that use test strips and lancets for obtaining blood drops. Although CGM is continuous, CGM devices may actually report interstitial fluid glucose results intermittently, varying from every few seconds to several minutes between measurements. The accuracy of CGM systems is critically important to ensure that when patients make treatment decisions that are based on this information, the decisions will be appropriate. CGM data accuracy can be expressed with a variety of metrics. These metrics include point accuracy, trend accuracy, precision accuracy, agreement rates when the result is either within or outside the display range, concurrence to reference, relative difference, bias plotting, and alert accuracy expressed as confirmed and missed alert rates or as true and missed detection rates. Interference with detection of a true glucose signal can occur because of chemicals that cause a false glucose signal or because of poor sensor reliability. Therefore, testing should be performed for sensor-specific physiologically occurring substances, exogenous substances and drugs, as well as for poor sensor reliability all of which can affect the accuracy of these devices. It's important to recognize the presence of these factors when assessing the accuracy of a CGM system. CGM accuracy can be maximized when the manufacturer has ensured the safety and efficacy of the product through appropriate pre-market testing, proper calibration of the devices, effective cybersecurity controls, clear instructions for use in the product labeling, and the system is operated properly by the users according to these directions. POCT05 provides you with the information you need to maximize the use and efficacy of continuous glucose monitoring devices. Thank you for your interest in CLSI's standards and guidelines. And thank you for viewing this short overview of POCT05, Performance Metrics for Continuous Interstitial Glucose Monitoring, 2nd Edition.